um, we're up at the compound where we store our motor home. We're just uh, driving, well, reversing up to where it's parked, just to check it all over. We've had a very cold few days here, so we just want to make sure that the battery's charged and what have you. Um, we, we've got family coming down on Friday to stay, so we are going to take the motor home back with us today so that we can, uh, Kevin and I can sleep in it, so there's room for our family to, to sleep in the house whilst we go to my son's 30th birthday party. So let's go and see if it works. Right, well, first of all, we're going to have a little look around the outside, make sure everything seems to be okay. Uh, check the um, outlet taps, make sure that they've not, uh, there's nothing wrong there, nothing untoward there. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be all right. It's been up here about a week now, has it? Yeah. Yeah. Just over. Um, so, um, yep, yeah, so let's go out and have a look. Yep. Right, so we're just going to have a little look around um, and check everything on the outside looks uh, visually uh, okay um, like Tracy said we've had a little bit of a uh, quite a few nights of frost um, and the, the van is fully um, uh, drained down um, but just having a, an inspection and making sure that the thing looks all right on the outside uh, one thing that did happen um, when it was up here before, and I've got to, I've got this to sort out, um, is the camera. Um, I don't know if some water's got in because uh, we've had an awful lot of rain. Um, but it's um, when we put the uh, van into reverse now, um, all we get is a blue screen. Um, so clearly there's something wrong with the reversing camera because it was working perfectly before. Um, so I don't know if any one of you out there have, have had this problem uh, with the reversing camera that when you put it into the, when you put the gear lever into reverse uh, all you're getting is a blue screen um, and there's nothing much I don't think you can do from the uh, from the um, the dashboard um, I think it's a case of you might have to have a look uh, climb up on some ladders and have a look yourself uh, at, at the camera uh, but um, I need to do some research on that but if anyone knows uh, has had a, a problem similar to this um, if you can let us know if you can uh, drop a comment um, that'd be very grateful so um, down here we've got the uh, the waste tank and it's uh, it's on open at the moment I'm looking at the floor down there there doesn't seem to be any fresh water showing and at the back here again we've got the fresh water outlet tap um, and just behind there there's the the drain off for the uh, for the boiler um, but that again everything under there looks um, it's moist but that's just the uh, the current uh, environment we're in but there's no there's no wet there which is a relief so we'll go back around uh, and open the van up. Now we've had, we have got a little problem, or a slight problem, with one of the leisure batteries. Um, so this is why I'm coming up. Another one of the reasons why I'm coming up to keep a check on it and to keep a check on the batteries. So one one way I'm going to find out now is hopefully I can open the van up. Well, that sounded uh, pretty good. Right, I'll just yeah. Look, if you just see there, um, yeah, we might have a little problem here because the uh, the step hasn't come out properly, um, which suggests that the battery is pretty low. Um, so I'm going to get in as quickly as I can and see if we can start the van up. Right, we're, we've got inside the uh, van now. Um, I'm just looking at the uh, 
the little um, screen up uh, above the habitation door um, and um, what have we got we've got the vehicle and leisure battery both showing uh, just over about 12 and a half percent which is a little bit low um, the van I've started the van up and it start the, the, the vehicle battery seems to be okay the problem seems to be uh, with the leisure batteries um, so as you can see on, on this one here um, we're only at 20% capacity which is really low um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the van home um, hook it up into the mains at home um, and I'm going to um, wh when we get home I'll show you um, um, a thing uh, a battery charger I got uh, bought for a birthday present um, um, and this is one of the it was, uh, a recommended um, and we'll have a look at that and we'll see if we can get these uh, poorly leisure batteries uh, feeling a little bit better so we'll right so we're um, we're back at home now and um, I've uh, got out the um, the battery charger um, uh, battery charger and maintainer um, which is as you can see is uh, an A battery charger um, this was a, pre a birthday present I received yesterday um, <laughs> really timely birthday present um, so let's see what it does um, now as I understand it this um, this charger um, it has four stages um, I'm just turning it around to the camera there so you can you can see that okay so it's uh, as a soft start um, the unit will take an initial uh, battery test to determine the battery condition if the battery is severely discharged the charger will begin the soft charge stage charging starts with reduced charging uh, reduce current until the battery voltage reaches a normal condition for charge so that's just like um, uh, so it doesn't give too much uh, charge initially uh, and, and do any damage uh, to the battery then it goes on to the uh, second stage which is the bulk stage which is this one here uh, just bring that a little bit closer to the camera so you can see that um, right this is the major charging stage where the battery receives the majority of its charge during this stage the battery is brought to 75 to 80 percent of its charge the maintainer will deliver maximum current until the terminal voltage has risen to the full charge level for a normal battery uh, when it's got to that stage it will then go on to the uh, absorb uh, absorption uh, stage um, completes the charge up to almost 100% the charge rate then falls to its minimum output while the voltage is maintained and after that it goes on to the float stage this is uh, maintenance charging at constant voltage float mode keeps the battery at 100% charge normal charging mode is uh, time limited to a maximum of 10 days so you can only do this for 10 days you can't just leave it on all the time it has it can only be done over a, it, it, i guess it's like a, a, a trickle charge um, but it's saying that you can only do it for a maximum of 10 days uh, while it's in float mode um, and it will maintain the charge uh, indefinitely without charging the battery or damaging the battery I should say so um, you may have seen these uh, kind of things before so let's just open up the uh, the package and let's have a look what we have inside let's check I don't want to damage the box if I can help it I think let me just open it a little bit down here and probably down here as well let's use my knife to bring this out here there we are 
I don't know about you guys but I tend to like to keep boxes and keep everything in boxes uh, let's keep everything tidy because as you know when you're on the road if you want to take this with you you, you don't want it just thrown in into a cable box or anything like that uh, you need to avoid damage so well, what we've got here then we've got the main unit up here um, it's said on the box um, what it comes with um, you get uh, main a two meters of main main cable length and one and a half meters of charging cable length and your accessories is one pair of crocodile clips uh, with a meter lead and a pair of eyelet connectors uh, with one meter lead so I guess you can uh, those are your eyelets you can fasten that onto some sort of terminal but the usual crocodile clips there right so um, what I'm gonna do is oh, I've just seen that you and a little torch you can see that put my hand against it there you are a little torch that's just come out there that's handy as that. I might need that so we'll um, we'll head out towards the van I'll get that hooked up and we'll right um, Right, I don't know if you can see there, but I have uh, now got the van hooked up to the mains. Um, I'm just going to bob inside uh, the motor up and just have a look at what the readings are saying on the over. On the, oh, on the overhead um, habitation door uh, unit. Let's just have a look inside here. Right, let's put some lights on, same with John the mains. Okay, so um, as you can see, we're on a leisure battery there, and it's showing a 13 and a L for 13.8 14 volts. But what's concerning two points is um, the capacity which is only 20 percent if you can see that and then on this bit here um, I presume this is the um, the reading that's saying what is going, being taken out of the the battery and that's showing around about 2.7 amps is being taken away from the leisure battery now this has been going on a while and I think this might be part of the problem I don't I don't really know uh, I've, I've checked things out um, as to what might be um, taking out um, uh, voltage from the from the battery uh, from the leisure battery I've uh, looked at all the fuses uh, to make sure that all the fuses are healthy uh, all the fuses are intact um, so again if if anyone has, has seen this problem before if they can again drop a, a comment in the comment box uh, uh, that'll be really grateful um, so um, the temperature at the moment uh, the outside temperature is uh, about minus nearly minus one um, and the inside temperature here is uh, uh, 5.8 degrees um, so it's really cold at the moment um, and this is why we need to be having a look at this maintenance so I'm going to go back outside now and um, have a look at the health of the batteries and see um, how we uh... right so here we are outside a locker unfortunately um, I have a a plug socket there so what I do is um, I just put the camera uh, I'll just pull this out, just bear with me a minute. Okay, so I've, I've plugged the, um, the plug into the uh, 
locker socket and just pop that under there so I can hook up that just go on the first lock okay right so I've got the uh, the extension lead here so what I'm going to do now I'll uh, I'll just unfasten the battery charger and uh, connect it up and then we'll have a look at what sort of readings we're getting okay so um, I've now got part of the I've got the uh, negative lead connected to the neg negative terminal on the right hand battery because they are, they're, they're actually linked across so I'm going to um, connect up the um, the uh, positive terminal here onto the positive terminal there um, and then let's plug in and see what happens okay so straight away it's uh, it's detected that we've um, we've got a 12 volt battery um, and this switch here allows you to toggle between 12 and 6 volts and this is the start button so I'll press the start button showing it's got power and it's charging so at least it is saying it's charging uh, because this one here says there's a fault so it's a relief that it's not saying there's a fault on it so we'll, um, we'll leave this to charge I'll come back a little later on to see how it's going morning um, right it's um, now it's Thursday the uh, 19th of December um, the morning um, after I set up the the uh, batteries uh, to charge the leisure batteries to charge yesterday so uh, we've just come into the van to see how they've um, gone on um, so first of all um, what I want to look at is the um, if I move the camera up here up to the uh, over the habitation door display um, so if we have a look at that um, and now that is saying that the the leisure battery is up to 13 point now 14 14 percent uh charged um so it's uh, battery watts i think it's uh, battery volts sorry um so it's uh, just about 14 percent what's concerning me at the moment is is this one here um the yellow um gauge um, I mean that should be up here up at the top um, and it's only showing that the um, the leisure batteries are just showing 25% capacity um, and on the far one there this is still showing that there's a ever such a half, half an amp being drawn out the battery um, which I'm still trying to work out why um, or what what's causing that to happen so um, we'll we'll have a look outside and see what the um, the new um, AA um, battery charger is saying um, and see what that says and I think what I might do is then put on um, an older charger I've got but that gives you a reading um, so I'll take a reading off both batteries just to check uh, check and see what uh, what the readings are on there um, so right let's just bob outside right um, here we are outside let's have a look the battery charger and I've got this little trusty torch that came with the AA battery so let's have a look at that right okay so I'll turn it round oh, it might be easy to hold it um, right okay so it's saying uh, yeah 12 volt we've started it's powers on uh, and it's gone from charging to 
fully charged the batteries are saying that the batteries are fully charged so like I say I'm just going to do a, a, another test with another um, charger uh, and see what kind of readings we're getting from there okay so now I've connected up the um, the older battery charger um, and what I've done is I've connected up the same way as what I had the uh, AA battery charger so I've crossed over the two uh, leisure batteries there so I've got the um, positive on the positive pole on the left hand battery and the negative um, the clip for the uh, negative supply on the negative pole on the other battery so the reading I'm getting on here now is that if I can just get this so I can show you this there we are it's you might just be able to see that it's 13 13.7 volts um, and it's showing four bars now so um, yeah it's showing uh, slightly less reading on here um, but that might be something to do with the cables um, so what I'm going to do now is just um, take off the negative on the right hand battery and put it onto the uh, negative pole on the left hand battery so I'll get an individual reading off each battery and see where we are there see if there's any difference between the two batteries okay so I've just connected up the left hand battery here um, with the two uh, terminal clips uh, and the reading for the left hand is it's showing 13.7 again um, and four bars so um, I'm just going to take a reading now um, on the right hand battery I just want like I say I just want to see if one battery is weaker than the other so we'll do that now okay right so um, now connected up the uh, the right hand battery um, and we're getting a reading of 13.9 volts uh, slightly better um, reading on that one but there's nothing much difference between them uh, really uh, and that is showing uh, three bars so the voltage has gone into both batteries um, but it still doesn't um, solve the problem um, I, I'm quite confident that the batteries are not damaged um, when, the, when, when, when the van was flat a few weeks ago when the van batteries were flat um, I don't think any damage has been done to the these two leisure batteries um, like I say the concern at the moment is why what's drawing that small amount of ampage from the batteries uh, and is that draining the batteries down when it stood for a while um, so I, I still need to answer that question um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give the uh, uh, vehicle battery a, a check uh, and just see what uh, what uh, sort of state that is in. Right, so here we are under the uh, the uh, bonnet of the motorhome, um, Fiat Ducato. Now I don't know if you know this, but uh, there is two poles in here because, as you know, the batteries, uh, the vehicle battery, is under the passenger seat. Um, and at first I was lifting all the rubber mats up to get to the. Uh, quite huge uh, vehicle battery uh, but you don't have to do that because I've been told there's a just this pole here um, is is the negative pole uh, or for the negative pole and then down here inside right deep down inside the engine compartment uh, if you lift that flap up there which clips down you just need a small screwdriver to get into that um, this metal piece here um, is the live connection so I'm just going to connect that onto there so connected on both poles now um, just, have a, just on the older one to get a read in so that's motorbike vehicle All right, just give it a minute because this looks quite the vehicle battery looks quite low on this um, let's see if I can get you a reading on that 
Uh, but what it's actually saying is, you know, there's a lot of light reflection. Uh, the reading is uh, 12.3. Um, and there's just one bar showing. So that's that's a little bit concerning. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach the AA uh, charger to this uh, and give this a charge um, on the AA and uh, see if we can uh, get a bit more life in, into this battery uh, over a period of time. So um, I'll, I'll swap these over and then we'll, uh, we'll come back um, once it's had a good charge and see, see if we can get it into a better state of health. Okay, so now um, I've got this uh, AA battery charger maintainer unit set up. Um, all I need to do is just try and balance that on there for a second. just connect up the uh, negative clip and press the start button and much to my relief it's showing that the battery uh, has lit up amber uh, and is charging um, <coughs> the one next to the power button to the left of the power button is if that lights up it gives an audio audible uh, beep um, and it means there's a fault on your battery as it says there so thankfully on this occasion it's not so what I'm going to do with this one is do what I did with the leisure batteries is just to leave it overnight um, on a on a trickle charge uh, on, a, on a, a, the, the four uh, base um, charging points uh, which we um, talked about yesterday so let's just see how this goes let's see if we tomorrow morning we've got um i'll be able to re report back with a healthy battery okay so the um, vehicle battery has now had uh charging for a uh, good 24 hours now um so we'll just take a reading and see where we are yesterday um we were on the charging element of it and now as you can see we've got a green light which is showing that the battery is fully charged so we'll go have a look inside and see what readings we've got inside So, okay, so as you can see, um, the vehicle battery was showing 13.6 currently, and on the leisure battery, we're showing 13.6. Now, there will be an element of draw, I would guess, on that because um, I've got the heating on at the moment um, and I've got some lights on. Um, and I've also got the pump on so there's a few things switched on at the moment um, if we just have a look at the other page um, now again we're showing the 13.6 uh, on on the uh, leisure battery but we still only got 20 just over 20 percent i think that says um of um no it's actually 30 percent it's gone up to 30 percent of uh, capacity um which we, we need we need to address that at some point but um for now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to keep an eye on that um and monitor it as much as i can through the next uh, few weeks um I'll probably come back to it and have a look at it um, after Christmas um, and maybe take the van out for a run and, and give it some charge then um, but if I need to take it down uh, and have the battery looked at professionally um, I'll have to do that before we go to Benidorm um, but for now the batteries are fully charged um, 
on this final column here the, um, where yesterday we had a green band showing that there was some um, um, ampage taken out uh, of the batteries now that is just barely a, a line um, ideally there should be nothing there um, but um, we'll again we'll just we'll just monitor that yeah okay so we've got a bit of fresh water in because we're actually staying in the van tonight um, we've got uh, some family coming over for Christmas um, so I'm just getting the van ready uh, just for tracing myself to stay in tonight and then uh, tomorrow we'll take it back up onto the uh, farm where it's stored uh, and we'll leave it over Christmas and I'll like I say I'll probably come over and um, I'll come over and, and check the batteries again so um, well that's that's about it now uh, for now for uh, oh, this year maybe um, I don't think we've any plans to make another video this side of Christmas but um, uh, we've, we have, we've, we're probably going to do um, a short video as soon as we can sometime between Christmas and New Year um, and uh, maybe or maybe in the New Year um, so um, on behalf of Tracy and myself I'd like to wish you all a very um, um, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year a uh, prosperous new year and a new year of happy traveling um, we look forward to making more videos for you in the new year um, we've only been doing this two months um, and we hope to improve and improve the content of the video and build our channel um, and we'd really like you to help us build the channel so um, if you like what you see please give us a thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel it's completely free um, it just helps us grow the channel uh, and if you do subscribe um, press the notification button at the side so then um, you'll get sent notification as to when we've uh, made another video or uploaded another video uh, and would, I'd like to say, take this opportunity to those of you who have already started following us, subscribe to us uh, and watching our videos. Thank you very much for your support. Um, it's very much appreciated and we'll look forward to seeing you in the new year. Bye for now. <laughs>